Hey everybody, it's your girl Bunny. To all of my returning subscribers, hey, how you doing? And for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome, kick your feet up, subscribe to this family-friendly channel, and don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss any posts. Also, follow me on Instagram so you don't miss the sneak peeks of what's coming up next. In this video, yes, the Kid Cudi fans have been waiting, including myself. It is the Man on the Moon 3, the chosen, the final part of the trilogy that gave us the first album in 2009, The Man on the Moon, the End of Day, and its follow-up, Man on the Moon 2, The Legend of Mr. Rager. At 36, he's developing a more of a full-blown acting career. He just landed a prestigious role as a queer black scientist introvert in the film adaptation of the coming-of-age novel from Brandon Taylor, Real Life. So he has a lot of growing. We're going to discuss the album. We're going to talk about producers and what to expect and my final thoughts at the end. It's all coming up next. To all the fans and to anybody that's been following Kid Cudi throughout his entire music career, is we've seen the ups and the downs of not only an artist, but sales and perceptions of his albums. With the first two albums, he really didn't see the sales that he wanted to see. He really didn't get the awards that he wanted to get. But true fans knew that those two albums were classics, along with the several mixtapes that he's put out along the way. And after 10 years, those albums are finally reaching those platinum statuses but to real fans we knew that it was platinum a long time ago with label matters with personal issues with depression and also going to rehab and going through the addiction of cocaine Kid Cudi is an artist that we have been wanting and desiring especially such during these dramatic odd weird times right and he was the artist that we could all connect with because he was super transparent when it came to things that he was dealing with family issues being creative not being seeked not being admired as an artist and now evolving into this man on the moon 3 3.0 at this point so when we all got the news of the release date and everything with this album i was super duper excited so if you follow me and I do any type of review and you subscribe to the channel you know that I thoroughly research a movie or an album so this is the first album review for this channel and with any review I do it thoroughly so let's understand one thing as expected Kid Cudi has divided his album into acts each act gives us a different emotion or expectation or chapter that we can feel and the point that he's trying to get across. With act one, we have Return to the Madness, which goes over tracks one through five. Act two is The Rager, The Menace, which is tracks six through nine. And act three, Heart of Rose Gold, which is tracks 10 through 14. And act four, powers which is tracks 15 through 18. I'll go through act one first. Return to the Madness and there are a few tracks that I want to point out so everybody can understand what you're hearing and what's going on. With act one Return to Madness in my opinion is this act of coming back to a 10 year later revamp of what's going on now. Writer, song producer, Babyface, he said that in order to stay of the times, you have to find a way to blend your own style, your own energies into what's current. Because if you don't do that, your music tends to fall behind and you're only capturing the audience that you had years later. You're not evolving and you're not growing. So with Act One, as soon as you hear the first track with Beautiful Trip, you're introduced to that feeling of the traditional Kid Cudi that we're used to. With all the tracks in Act 1, we see this transition where he's trying to evolve into the times and yet keeping himself as an artist and his identity. And that's what I think happened with Act 1. And many people, when they first heard it, they go thought, 
what is this? What's happening? I don't like this. This doesn't sound like him. But if you go in understanding that this act one is that transitional phase and letting his audience know that he's trying new things. And as an artist, that is very risky because you could lose your artist as well. But if you're a good critique, of albums and if you have thorough ears when it comes to producers you know that that's what he's doing so let's take a look at some of the tracks in act one with tracks two through four tequila shots another day she knows this and dive we have the current producers dr genius and take a day trip f and z all of these producers that have this crisp new sound that we've been hearing lately and also we blend in his hums and his harmonies reminding us that he's one of the creators and influencers of the travis scotts and everybody else that we hear on the radio nowadays stop this boring me if you can't decide which one I want, all the girls at the party come along as a party. We started yeah. mixing drinks, how much? Who knows? I put one up at that homies yeah, yeah. to delete the party, baby. Ain't missed a moment, ain't no spilling. Dude, I've been living in and trying to find it, then I'm feeling. You feel it? All's good until I hit the ceiling. Good riddance, I figured I'd be straight to the she see me, she knows this, yeah And she screaming, she knows this, yeah And she see me, she knows this, yeah As you can hear in a lot of the tracks when it comes to production, it's it's familiar. It's something that we're used to. But at the same time, do not sleep on these production tracks. They are absolutely amazing. The transitions in these tracks and the tempos, the clarity and the crispness is something that you cannot sleep on. But this act emphasizes right that the emotion is that he's come out of this place of transitioning evolving into who he is but when he comes out of that realm he's returning to the madness things seem on the outside like they're still the same even though he's evolved as a man going into the second act we're getting more into a personal aspect of him speaking about growth him speaking about development and getting out of the old ways people are so used to a certain matter or or energy that Kid Cudi brings but he's trying to express that I'm a new person I've evolved into something else so he talks about these transitions in act two and in act two we're getting more of the traditional Kid Cudi that we know but at the same time broadening the audience with certain features How it goes when you're a this is how it goes when you're a damaged man. Serving so heat, I mean, I then you're the world. In the city, this is rock and roll. My nigga is big business. The people's only hope we ride. So with act two, a lot of the lyrics talk about demons and negative influences and trying to pull away from materialism and who he is and identifying who he is. So we see those battles that conflict conflicting man on the moon as if he's made this journey and now he's come back to earth seeing what's around him. Now we go in to the third act, Heart of Rose Gold, which introduces to us to those emotions and those feelings tapping back into love tap, tapping back into his true self and we hear that with this third act there are more harmonies as we know the head wah, wah. <laughs> right our kid cuddy singing with the harmonies and deep 
melodies that he does. We hear the acoustics. We have Phoebe Bridgers who's joined him on a track. And we just have more of the acoustics and things and, and strings that we're used to. So Act 3 takes us through that journey. see not all songs were recapped and played i just wanted to give an emotional bite of what to expect from each act and of course you have to consider copyright so act three gives us that energy to where he's aware of what's going on around him then we go into act four which is appropriately named powers because these tracks 15 through 18 give such great energy and his point throughout these is he has the same producers throughout that give this uplifting tempo giving the audience a note that I am a new person I am starting a new leave in my life I'm still Mr. Rager I'm still <laughs> <laughs> kid cutter i'm still the same person but i'm dealing with the same battles as you and it's this energy letting people know to still have this faith still have that push that you need to have don't give up on your dreams the pale moonlight talks about their rock star nights is very inspiring and if you notice the spelling of it night like fighting like a fighter like a protector thinking about longevity and what to expect in the future for the kids which talks about what are we doing are we partying all day long are we just buying a whole bunch of crap or are we thinking about the kids and lord i know which is a very emotional track saying thank you god for not giving up on me for giving me another chance for blessing me with this talent and not taking it for granted what a different pivot shift coming from the kid and i absolutely love it so act four powers i'll give you a little taste of some of the songs but remember i can't play all of them i just want to give you a little taste this is my life so i gotta think it rock star life thinking back i could be dead in the night pay me up in you'll be thinking about me while you're laying in your bed this is my life so i gotta think it rock star life thinking back i could be dead My thoughts about this album, I thought it was absolutely amazing. It was the album that was needed without a doubt, because you have to think this is not the final album that he'll ever do. You know, I hope not. But something to put that energy out there was needed. The only con I would say to this entire album is that I wish that your tracks were longer. But I think more and more people are understanding that people nowadays have really, really short attention spans and that people don't listen. And in order to grab them and to pull in their att attention, majority of people want good production. They want good beats. They want something that they can listen to, that they can go on this mental trip of connecting with the audience. One thing I want people to understand is that you can't expect somebody to be the same way that they were 10 years ago and if they are highly likely their music is something that's fizzled away they were a fad correct so with kid cuddy not only is he an amazing artist thinker writer I say singer, he doesn't like it when people call him a singer because he's just like, I'm not a singer, I'm just kind of harmonizing with the song. But he is a singer because he can hold a note and he's in and when you think about the harmonies that he puts together, I could I could put him down as a good composer of a song, a good producer. He produces a lot on his own album since day one. He's been the main writer for all of his material when it comes to making the fluidity of a song work. 
work. I have nothing but high hopes for this guy that he will stay on his own path. He's very transparent. His fan base understand that he's very transparent. And I really think it's an album that everybody should get and not judge all of his music just based on this one album i actually encourage you to go back and get the first two because the first two introduce you to who he really is as a new artist you know you purge all of your your being on your first album i mean that is the album where you are making the staple and saying no matter what happens i want people to know who i am and without a doubt those first two albums did exactly that listen to the album go get it support the kid support cutter support mr ranger mr ranger like really really support this guy he's amazing i actually look forward to him doing more acting if you ask me that is his thing that he needs to go with he's an amazing actor and if this album doesn't win a grammy doesn't win a lot of awards it just really puts the nail in the coffin and letting me know that the music industry is just like dead dead i mean it's always been dead the grammys has been dead but it's like for real for real dead 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 um <laughs> on this album i think it was a here am i i made it through i got through the struggle here is this material do I place it above the other two items? I would say it's level playing field because music has evolved so much in 10 years, you guys. So we can't say, oh, this album is not better than the first man on the moon. Like, you can't do that. I think it's beautiful and awesome being away from coming out with an album, not a mixtape, not something on the side, as a true album in ending this beautiful trilogy of man on the move good job with the producers good job with kid cuddy the producers did an amazing job on this this album i can't even the transitions the tempos the beat changes the movie clips that are placed throughout this movie if you're a movie buff like myself i loved saying oh that's this movie and oh that's that movie it really really made me happy to know that he probably looks at a lot of movies that i look at because i'm like wow that really really correlates with the song but check it out let me know what you think give me your thoughts if you've listened to the album thoroughly thoroughly not just listen one time if you've listened to the album at least a good two or three times straight through all the way through no stops let me know what you think in the meantime take care you guys this is the first album review i'll see you again for another one in the meantime check out those latest videos and posts that i made about shows and also those playlists of other movie and television show recaps in the meantime take care of yourself i love you bye